spirit. Good morning, good morning, beloved. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I dare not trust in Jesus' name. Cross alone. Cornerstone. The weak will be made strong. Yes, Lord. Listen to the word. Listen to the word. Through the stone. He is the Lord and the Lord of Lords. Good morning. Bonjour, bonjour, bien aimé. Bonjour. Nous vous espérons nombreux. Nous vous espérons nombreux ce matin. Mm, we believe that you are many, 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 many this morning. Ready for prayer, ready for another week of prayer. This is the appointment with the saints. The appointment with the saints. Le rendez-vous des saints. Le rendez-vous des saints. Hallelujah. Le rendez-vous avec le Saint-Esprit. Hosanna. My anchor is rolled within the veil. Christ alone. Yes, Lord. Fasten your seatbelt, fasten your seatbelt. I say when you get up, when you get up, you brush up, you wash up, you dress up, and you now you are now ready <laughs> for another days of prayer. Another days of prayer. David says, I'm waking up in the morning, early in the morning, and write my request and lay it down before the Lord. Put your comment. Let us know that you are watching in the mighty name of Jesus. And share the link, don't forget. Christ alone. On the stone. The weak will be made strong. Yes, today let the weak be strong. And let the poor say, I am rich. He is Lord. Lord of Lords, Christ alone, Christ alone. Bonjour, bien aimé. Une fois de plus, nous venons chez vous à partir de Coventry, United Kingdom. Hallelujah. I'm Reverend Daniel from Fountain of Agape Mission Center. Fountain of Agape Mission Center. We are based in Coventry, West Midland, in the United Kingdom. We are in the West Midland. We are in the West Midland. Hallelujah. Not far from Birmingham. For you that know England very well. Amen. So if you have a relative living around, so you can recommend. You can recommend your relative. Listen to the Holy Spirit. When the trumpet will sound. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dress in the righteousness of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, take control. Take control. Take control of this day. Take control of this prayer time. Take control. Take control. Take control. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Get ready. Get ready. Let your mind be ready. Let your heart be receptive. Let your heart be receptive this morning in the name of Jesus. Let our heart, let our heart be receptive to the word of God. Let our heart be receptive. Let our heart be receptive. Hallelujah. You know the Bible says, they have received the word and the word is not benefited to them. Huh. Hallelujah. Because of what? Because of the stony heart. 
because the heart wasn't receptive in the name of Jesus. Lord of love, Christ alone, Christ alone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, viewers, thank you, viewers. God bless you, God bless you. God knows that you are there. God knows that you are there. He locates you. It's omnipresent. It's omnipresent. It's omniscience. It's omniscience. It's omnipresent. It's omnipresent. It's omnipresent. In the name of Jesus, we are serving a living God, a living God. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Say to yourself, I'm serving a living God. I'm serving a living God. I'm serving a living God. God that hears. Last week we will say, God hears prayer. God hears prayer. And answer it. And answer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. His ears is attentive to the prayer of the saints. His ears is attentive to the prayer of the saints. And then he said, my word will not return to me void. My word will not return to me void. I will surely do what I have said I will do. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hosanna. Thank you, King of Kings. Christ alone. Cornerstone. Mm. We commit this day into the Lord. We commit this day into the Lord. Let his will be done. Let his will be done. As it is in heaven, let it will be done in your life, in my life, in the life of your loved ones, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the will of God be done. Hallelujah, King of King, Lord of Lord, everlasting Father. We thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Last week we prayed, we prayed, we prayed for the sick, and we got testimony. We got testimony. If you have your testimony, Put some comment, put some comment for the testimony you have received. If you are listening to us around the world, in Romania, especially where they are watching us in Cameroon, in Ivory Coast, in Nigeria, hallelujah, America, Australia, what, hallelujah, thank you, Father. Thank you for your children. Thank you for your children that are connected this morning. Father, Lord, locate them, locate them, and locate their issue, locate their issue, and answer them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to pray this week, Lord. We are expecting a miracle. Say, I'm expecting a miracle. I'm expecting a miracle. I'm expecting a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. Miracle will happen to you, to you beloved. Miracle will happen. Miracle will happen to us. Miracle will happen to your ministry. In the name of Jesus, you that are listening, expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. There are obstacles that comes to, to, to hinder the miracle that God wants to do. But God will open our eyes. Our spiritual eyes need to be open. Our spiritual ears need to be attentive. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm glad this morning to come to you. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Bien aimé, je suis très content de venir à vous ce matin avec encore un temps de prière, une heure de prière. Alléluia. C'est pour cela que nous sommes très contents parce que c'est une semaine où Dieu va opérer le miracle dans la vie de quelqu'un. Dieu va opérer le miracle dans ton ministère. Dieu va opérer le miracle. Si ton cœur est réceptif, si ton cœur est réceptif et si Alléluia. Tes oreilles sont attentives. Au nom puissant de Jésus, au nom puissant de Jésus, au nom puissant de Jésus. Expecte ton miracle, expecte ton miracle. Qu'est-ce que Dieu t'a dit de faire? Oh, Alléluia, qu'est-ce que Dieu t'a dit de faire? Quel est ton, euh, ton désir? Qu'est-ce que tu veux que Dieu fasse? Qu'est-ce que tu veux que Dieu fasse pour toi, pour ta famille, pour ta femme, pour ta, ton mari, pour tes enfants? Qu'est-ce que tu veux? Tu veux que ton mari soit sauvé? Tu veux que ta femme soit sauvée? Tu veux que tes enfants soient sauvés? Tu veux que ta famille soit sauvée? Ton voisin, ton ami, au cabo, au que respecte un miracle au nom puissant de Jésus. Alléluia. I'm just saying that expect a miracle. Expect a miracle. What do you want God to do for you this morning? What do you want God to do for you? You remember God will give him manna to the children of Israel daily, daily, daily manna, daily manna. So you have to have daily, daily request. Daily request. What do you want for God to do to you today? Hallelujah. Don't 
things that you're going to use in 10 years' time, you are asking it today. God knows, God knows you, your need of today, your need of today. You want your husband to be safe, you want your wife to be safe, you want your children to be safe, or you want them to return to God. To return to God, to return to God. You want your neighbor, your neighbor, your friend, your family member to be safe. Makota Tabaseke. Salvation, salvation that is a miracle. Salvation that is a miracle. Healing is not is not even a miracle. Healing is a bread and butter for the children of God. Because he said this is the sign that we follow those that believe. Now, when you believe, all those things will follow you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. We pray for our loved ones, oh Lord Jesus, for their eyes to be open. We pray for their loved ones to their heart be receptive. On to your word, let your word, hallelujah, pierces that heart. Let your word pierces that heart in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord. Remove every stony heart that is not receiving the word. Open the eyes, the blind eyes, the blind eyes, the eyes that is not uh, uh, discover, discover this marvelous, uh, this, this this goodness, uh, the good news uh, that come to us. Uh, let the veil, that is preventing your children to see, to see that you are you 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 are great, that you are the true God. Father, we thank you, we bless your holy name. Yes, yes. Put yes, put your comment, beloved, and share this prayer. Share the link of this prayer. Let many tune in. Let many tune in. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Salvation. That's what the Bible says. It's joy in heaven. It's a joy in heaven. It didn't say it's a joy in heaven when somebody gets healed. But it said there is a joy in heaven when somebody gave their life to Christ. When somebody repent. When somebody come to Christ. When somebody come to know Christ. That's why we have to pray that Okopa to know Christ is a primary. Is a primary. Knowing Christ. He said your name will be written into the book of life. Your name will be written into the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is the name of your wife. Wife, or your husband, your children, or your friend, your community is written into the book of life. That must be your primary concern. That's why we have to go out and, and, and spread the good news. And the Bible says it's anoint the feet of those that spreading the good news. If you are that person, say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for using me. Thank you for using me into your vineyard. He said the harvest is ripe, beloved. The harvest is ripe. If you doesn't, if you doesn't really Realize that the harvest, the harvest, the harvest is ripe. You will not move. You will not move. God wants us to move. I want to prepare your heart this morning. I want to prepare your heart this week so that we can go together and spread this good news. The good news of salvation. The good news of the love of Jesus Christ. The love of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the answer, beloved. Jesus is the answer to the world. Jesus is the answer to the pandemic. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. Say to yourself, Jesus is the answer. Many people are looking answer from the scientists. Many are looking answer for the vaccine. No, Jesus is the answer. I come this morning to say to someone, look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. He said the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus is a, a, a strong tower. A strong tower. When the righteous run into it, is safe. When the righteous rock, God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Mighty King, mighty King. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Hallelujah. You are standing at a gap for all those relatives. All those relatives. Yes, 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 yes. As a Moses stand at the gap for the children of Israel. In the name of Jesus. And he prayed, and he prayed, and he prayed. And, he prayed, and God answered Moses. God answered Moses. God turned his anger away. In the mighty name of Jesus. I come to you this morning with a name. A name that will operate a miracle in your life. A name. A name. Un nom, un nom. Je viens à toi ce matin avec un nom. Un nom. Un nom qui va opérer un miracle dans ta vie, dans ta famille, dans ta communauté et dans ton ministère. Yes. Dieu t'a donné un ministère. Peut-être que tu ne réalises pas 
que le don que tu as, c'est un ministère. Tu ne réalises pas que le, le talent que tu as, c'est un ministère. Au nom de Jésus. Alléluia. Le nom, le nom, le nom. Open your Bible, beloved. I'm going to show you that if you are expecting a miracle, it will just come through a name. That miracle will come through that name. That name that I will reveal to you. Open your Bible, Luke chapter, Luke chapter 10, verse 17. Luke 10, 17. <laughs> My wife is laughing. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. Luke chapter 10, verset 17. Luke chapitre 10, verset 17. Luke 10, verset 17. Tu vas voir que tu, tu attends un miracle. Ce miracle viendra par un nom. Ce miracle viendra par un nom bien aimé. Pas par un système. Pas par de l'argent. Mais par un nom. Luke chapitre 10, verset 17. Luc 10, 17. Que je lise d'abord en français. Que je lise d'abord en français. Bien aimé. Que je te lise ça en français. Luc 10, 10 17. 10, 17. Il dit ceci. Les 70 envoyés hein, yes, envoyés revinrent pleins de joie et dirent « Seigneur, même les esprits mauvais nous obéissent quand nous leur donnons des ordres en ton nom. » Yes, Luke chapter 10, verse 17. Oh, les, les, les 72, 72, 72. Correct it. Les 72, les 72. He said the 72. The 72 came back. When the 72 disciples returned, they joyfully report, reported to him, Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Oh, la carré, que c'est qui? The 72, the 72 return and said, and give the report. This is obedient, the sign of obedience. The 72, I want you to underline the 72 return. I want you to underline return. The 72 return and give a report. The 72 returned and gave a report. Where did where they were coming from? Where evangelism? Where they where they were coming from? Where they were coming from? Hallelujah! He dit que les 72 revinrent, revinrent et donnaient et donna leur rapport. Les 72 revinrent et donna leur rapport. Ils ont donné leur rapport à Jésus, à Jésus. À Jésus. Non, va dans verset 3, verset 3, verset 3, verset 3, tu vas voir la réponse, verset 3, alléluia. Dans le verset 3, il dit, en route, Jésus les envoie, je vous envoie comme des agneaux au milieu des loups, je vous envoie. So they went, listen, listen, look chapter 10, verse 3, say. verse 3, verse 3, beloved, it said, go now, and remember that, I am sending you out as lamb among wolves. <laughs> no wonder, no wonder they came, they came rejoicing. Because they went among wolves. They went among wolves. Wolves are surrounding us. Wolves are surrounding you. I come to tell someone this morning. They will not, you will come back rejoicing. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Jesus prepare the disciples. Jesus prepare these 72. He said, He sent them. He sent them as lamb among hoof. Among hoof. But they return. Hakaroko, I say you among this pandemic, this pandemic is surrounding you. Of oh, everyone is um, around you is testing positive, but my I come to say you will be you will come back rejoicing. You will come back rejoicing like a testimony. Our brother gave, our brother gave in his in the workplace, in the workplace, 70 people, 70 
I don't know why 70 is coming. 70 people were testing positive, positive. And then they call him, they call him and say, go and do the test. Quick, 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 go and do the test. The message come to my phone yesterday. Ah, oh, pastor, thank you for your prayer. Thank you for the prayer. God have answered. God have answered your prayer. My report is negative. Osaka. The 72 return rejoicing. The 72 return the rejoicing. Why? Because they say even the evil spirit, even demons uh, bow, bow before, bow before us, obey us at the mention of your name, not their name. Many today are building their tower. Many are building their tower. Many are building their tower. Many are postraying their name. They know their name more than the name of Jesus. Morocco, Kataba. I come to say to someone this morning, use the name above any other name. The name of Jesus is above every other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. Listen to what happened. Listen to what happened. Read, read verse 9. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. The same verse. It said, And they heal the sick. At their mission. That was the mission. He said, go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. Ratoko Pakaseke. I come to commission someone this morning. I come to commission someone this morning. Akasoko. You know, Jesus said, as my father sent me, then I send you. I'm sending you. As my father sent me, then I'm sending you. Now I'm sending you. I'm sending you. You that are listening to me and sitting down. You that are listening to me and confining the house. I'm sending you out. I'm sending you out. Do you see, Jesus did not say, I send them in. He said, he sent them out. Out. Among what? Among who? Oh, pa pastor, pastor, there is a pandemic outside. Why, why are you sending me outside? He said, he have sent them among who? 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, because of what? Jesus is going with you, beloved. Jesus is going with you. You are going to the church. Jesus is going with you. You are going to the street to preach. Jesus is going with you. You are going to the shop. Jesus is going with you. He said, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Say, the Lord, I'm thank you. I'm thank you for you will not leave me. You will not forsake me. You will not leave me. You will not forsake me. Friend can leave me. Family can leave me, family can accept me, can reject me, but you will not leave me. In the mighty name of Jesus, sir, wherever you go, he will go. Wherever you are, he will be there. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said you are in the palm of his hand. The palm of his hand. Oh, many people are watching. Mark Kasoko, they don't, they just send me the notification. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. You that are listening to the sound of my voice, don't be afraid. Look at Luke chapter 10. Look at chapter 10. Verse 17. He said the 72 came back and gave the report. They, give the, they gave the report that, oh Lord, they were rejoicing. <laughs> they came back singing. They came back singing. Oh, Marika Toko Koshete. So thy seed, God have given you seed. You got seed in your heart. You got seed in your hands. You got seed in your hands. That word of God, let him become a seed in your hands. Let him become a seed. Sow it in good soil. Sow it in good soil. Sow it in good soil. It will germinate. It will germinate and grow and bear fruit. We sow a seed in the life of a brother. Brother, brother. We sow a seed. Ten years now. Ten years now. It came back. 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 Came back and give testimony if you have listening to the world to the service to our service last sunday last sunday you see brother Amman, brother for anna anna kaboko say team i'm praying for you right now that what the lord have given you the enemy will not snatch him from you in the mighty name of jesus we saw that see 10 years ago 10 years ago listen carefully 10 years ago hallelujah and we miss up we missed out we miss out the brother when he was praying looking for us when he came back to the city praying looking for us say some people a couple pray for me in this city a couple pray for me in this city where are they where are they where are they oh the holy spirit even moved me and then i went to the city and then we put god put us together you have to come on sunday and listen to that testimony you have to come on sunday listen we are located in the midst of the center, city center, Coventry, Coventry. Come to Coventry and say, where is Fountain of Agape Mission? In the city center of Coventry. CV1, Charlie Victor 1, hallelujah, 1LF, one 1LF. One 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Go to our website, you will find us. Go to our website, Fountain of Agape Permission Center. God bless you. God bless you. You that are listening this morning, you that are tuning in this morning, there is testimony, beloved. Testimony, testimony. Sow that seed that God has given you. Say, I will sow the seed. I will sow the seed. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. Wednesday we are out. Wednesday we are out. At the midday, 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 12, we will meet us in the city center. We have to sow that seed. We have to sow that seed. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said, go. Go now. He said, go now. Luke chapter 10, verse 3. He said, go now. Why are you saying I'm going when the pandemic will finish? Oh, I'm going when my sickness. Oh, oh, you are even saying you are sickness. No, no, we come this morning to say that sickness is not yours. Morocco, Kataba. That sickness is a wolf, 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 wolf. That the enemy is trying to, to, to hold you down with. But they said they came, even those wolf run away. Even those wolf run away. That's why they came back rejoicing. They came back rejoicing, rejoicing, rejoicing. I come to put joy in the heart of somebody this morning. That don't be confined. Don't be. Be, be, be afraid. God is surely on your side in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, go now. Heal the sick. Mm -hmm. We have a mission, beloved. We are on the mission. Mm -hmm. We are on the move. Mm -hmm. We are on the move. Mm -hmm. Why are you afraid? Mm -hmm. Why are you afraid? Don't be afraid of any rejection. Mm -hmm. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. Mm -hmm. I will pick myself up. Pick yourself up, beloved. I will not be afraid. Don't be afraid of any rejection, any rejection by the family or society, by the family of the society. Pray that prayer. I will not be afraid by any rejections by family or society, by friends, by friends or, 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 or loved ones. I will never be afraid. I will never be afraid in the name of Jesus. I will never be afraid of any demons, of any demons, because they will, they will bound, they will obey what you say. Command, command. That's why Jesus said, command, command, command. Hallelujah. Luke 10, 19. I have given you authority and power. I have given you authority and power. So why are you afraid? When Jesus gave you authority, he said he sent them out as a lamb among wolf but they came back the report was rejoicing the demons the evil spirit obey them obey them so give them instructions if you doesn't open your mouth and give instructions jesus said to the pig boom to the desert to the he sent them to the to where to the sea hallelujah he said, heal the sick. So if you are sick this morning, you got the power. You got the power. You got the power. If a member of family is sick, you got the power. We so saw he said, go. Verse 9, he said, and heal the sick. And, and heal the sick. Read your Bible. And heal the sick. You, you are on the mission. So those sickness will obey you. They will obey you. They are spirit. They are spirit. Laziness is a spirit. It's a spirit. Mm -hmm. So, command, command them, command them to go. Hallelujah. Demon, what do they do? What do they do? They bewitch people. They bewitch, they bewitch the atmosphere. They, they, they cast spare in the atmosphere. They, casting, they are casting spare in the atmosphere. That's why we have to get up and pray. That's why we have to get up and release the word of God. And release freedom. And release the love of God. And release the love of God. The love of God. The love of God. May the love of God fill your heart. May the love of God. The love of Jesus. The love of Jesus. If you doesn't love Jesus, you will not go out. You think you love Jesus? If you love Jesus, you will share Jesus. If we love Jesus, we will share Jesus. We are sharing Jesus. We are sharing Jesus. Give Jesus to everyone you meet in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you. Two, we chase thousand. One, we chase thousand. Two, ten thousand. So if we are two, we are happy. Because ten thousand will listen to us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid of any sickness. That's what I put here. Do not be afraid of any sickness. Of all kind. All kind. What's 
what name the doctor have given him, whatever the name the doctor have given I said they came back and said, demons obey us when we use your name. Which name? The name of Jesus. So if there is any sickness, any member of your family suffering from whatever sickness the diagnosed is calling, they will bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Grab that scripture. Grab that scripture. Say, Lord, I will come back rejoicing. I will come back and give the same testimony. I will give the same testimony. Lord, help me to give the same testimony. Help me. It's not even difficult, beloved. It's not difficult. It's not difficult in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness of all kind. Sickness of all kind. We obey because we are mentioning the name of Jesus. We are calling the name of Jesus. We are calling the name of Jesus. You will see throughout this week, you will see that weapon, that weapon that you will use. The first one we are using today is the name of Jesus. If you are expecting a miracle, use the name of Jesus. If you want wolf to bow, Use the name of Jesus. You want Hakarobo Koseke. Just use the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. We have to declare and decree victory over failure. Victory over failure. Mm -hmm. Say, I will not fail. I will not fail. I will not quit. I will not re re <laughs> I will not go back. When we sing, when we sing this song, many people sing this song, but when the time comes, we don't see them anymore. Mm -hmm. Cross before me, the world behind me. Cross before me, the world behind me. But now the cross is behind them and the world is before them. I pray, I'm praying, I'm praying. As Jesus prayed for Peter, that I pray for you, that the, 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 the demon, the evil will not shift you. <laughs> Satan will not shift to away. Will not shift to away in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare and decree. Victory over failure. Victory over every power of darkness. Declare today. You say, many people are watching, Mama, they are telling me, Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Thank you for you that are watching. Share the link, share the link. Because we got the victory. We got the victory over every power of darkness. <coughs> every power of darkness. Victory over every power of suicide. Suicide, the Lord was telling me, pray for the spirit of suicide. Mm -hmm. Men against. Mm -hmm. Yes against the spirit of suicide pray against the spirit of suicide many are many want to give up their life many want to give up their life rako katabari even the murderer against the spirit of murderer yes yes we are hearing daily day by day that they are killing this one they are murdering this one they are, oh yesterday in london it was about two but kasoku but we come against every spirit of murder in the mighty name of jesus we come against any spirit of suicide in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord any spirit of accident we come against any spirit of accident accident we come against you in the mighty name of jesus in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus declare victory over every power of addiction declare victory over every power of addiction mama we come and continue this prayer every power of addiction every power of sin sin and temptation yes sin is sin has a power stronghold stronghold it's holding people down holding people down you are going back to free we declare that we have received power over all principalities and power in the heavenly realm. They have no power over us. They will bow down. They will bow down and they will obey us. Just open your mouth and command them where to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nous avons la puissance et le pouvoir de commander toutes les, toutes les puissances de l'ennemi de se rabaisser devant nous au nom de Jésus. Je te revois demain matin a thank you holy spirit thank you for watching hallelujah those that are connected with us this is fountain of agape mission my daddy husband just told us about uh, hallelujah about the name that is above every name the name of jesus hallelujah are you not happy
to know to use that name that name that is above every name i'm apostle delphin hallelujah coming to you right to your house right to your bedroom to your lunch this morning hallelujah glory be to god thank you all of you that are connected hallelujah thank you because you are in the right place you are really in the right place 5 a.m is not easy to wake up that is the time that the enemy will, will mm. tell you don't wake up sleep the bed is so sweet the duvet is so sweet especially now that there's a bit of rain hallelujah but the but the devil is a liar beloved because we are spirit and jesus has given us his spirit the spirit of jesus is in us hallelujah the bible says he was waking up early in the morning every day Day was his custom he was waking up every day early in the morning and he was going to a solidarity place where he prayed throughout so and if jesus is with us and if jesus is in us we have to wake up and connect to this channel we have to wake up and connect hallelujah and be one and relate with this channel because we are we are mandated to wake up early in the morning 5 a.m you are mandated to wake up early in the morning 5 a.m the enemy will distract you during the day and you you will not have a good rest to rest and wake up 5 a.m. to connect with us and maybe someone will be calling you and you will not wake up and connect hallelujah you'll be collecting you'll be connecting to irrelevant things that will not even benefit you but today you are hearing the sound of our voice hallelujah the man of god said jesus we are using a name that is above every name we are using a name that name jesus that name jesus that name jesus hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god merci bien aimé vous qui êtes debout ce matin pour connecter avec nous nous sommes fantôme of agape mission hallelujah hallelujah uh, en angleterre et nous sommes merci d'avoir ouvert votre porte pour que nous venons ce matin pour prier avec vous hallelujah glory be to god Merci, merci, merci. Thank you very much, beloved. Today we are talking, this week we are talking, expect your miracle. Expect your miracle. And Jesus has given us a name that is above every name. I don't know the sickness. I don't know the disease, the infirmity. I don't know the issue, the problem that you are going there. But all I know, I know that we have a name that is above every name. We have a name that will give us a solution. We have a name that will restore, a name that will give us, hallelujah, will give us a good help. All I know is that we got a we have we got a name hallelujah the name of jesus the jesus of nazareth we got that name you have the name the bible says in luke chapter 10 verse 19 luke chapter 10 the book of luke chapter 10 is a very powerful chapter that you have to read it and underline it you have to read and read that book is very powerful hallelujah luke chapter 10 verse 19 the bible says jesus has given us hallelujah when you start from verse 18 jesus replied say so satan is saw satan falling like a lightning from heaven he saw him he saw him he saw him falling from heaven onto earth to do what to destroy hallelujah mankind to destroy people to destroy people that are ignorance their ignorance of the word of god the enemy has come down hallelujah he's coming down he has come down jesus said he saw him and that is why he said hallelujah he said i have given you authority there because i've seen him and i know you are powerless i know you don't have power but therefore i've given you the power and authority to stumble upon him and every every demonic power that want to come against you we got the power to go against them and one of the spirit hallelujah you know sickness is looking for the body to manifest himself hallelujah the demon all of them are spirit and the bible says we are also spirit we have to go into the spirit realm hallelujah we have to go to the spirit realm and begin to to destroy and begin to do the things that the power of god will do we have to go to the hospital we have to go to the prison you don't need to go there physically but your prayer will go to the prison your prayer will go to the hospitals your prayer will go hallelujah to homes your prayer your prayer my prayer the word of god the name of jesus must go right there the right in those places and began to lose began to destroy began to heal began to deliver began to bring salvation hallelujah glory be to god and prophesying your life this morning beloved you that are watching that sickness that you say it is my sickness it is my disease it is my diabetes it is my i'm i'm stressed i'm depressed i'm under hallelujah tablet let me tell you the demon that is making hallelujah many people are under hallelujah the demonic powers to be destroyed because the devil doesn't want you to use the talent that god has given you he doesn't want you to use it so this morning we are coming in your houses 
we are entering into your houses. Thank you for opening the door for us to come in this morning. It's not easy. Early in the morning, hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. My God, God is saying to me this morning that someone is in his bed. Someone is in the bed for years, bound in the bed. The devil has bound you in the bed for years, for years. And you say you don't have hope anymore. Let me tell you, right now, right now, speak and say, I lose myself for, because I got the power. I got the power. I got the name that is above every name. Say to that sickness, call the name. Is it cancer? Is it cancer? 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 I curse that spirit. I curse that demon of cancer in your life right now. I curse it in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse that demon of cancer that wants to destroy you. That demon of cancer. I curse the cancer of the blood, cancer of the breast, cancer, cancer of the womb. I curse that demon of cancer right from the root because I got the name that is above every name. I got that name, one name, one name. That name is coming into your house in the name of Jesus. It's coming. I curse it from head to toe. Let the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, let the spirit, that demon of cancer, be cast, be dry, dry up, dry, dry, dry. Give me testimony. Send your testimony in our website. Send your testimony. Go to our website. Send your testimony. Right now, get up, get up. You, that is paralyzed right now in your bed. I come against that spirit, that spirit of that spirit of paralysis. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against it. I began to speak. I speak to that disease because let me tell you, I say the spirit, the demon, the sickness, they are spirit. They hear us and they are looking for body to manifest. So when, you are, when your body is empty, when you don't have the word of God, when you don't have Jesus Christ, you are that, you are vulnerable to the devil to come in and stay and use and depress you and put you down. You are vulnerable, beloved. You are vulnerable for the enemy to come in. But this morning, hallelujah, we got the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why I'm sending the word of God in the hospital right now. Listen, the Bible says in the book of Psalm 107 verse 20, it says send the word. And that word is true. Jesus say hallelujah. The Bible says that hallelujah. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish. So this morning you will not perish. You are not going to perish this morning. Whosoever, whosoever, whatever may be your religion, your day, as you believe in the name of Jesus Christ, you will never perish. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So this morning I am coming to your house. Hallelujah. Not by physical way, but I am coming to your house with the name of Jesus. We have come to your house to speak that name. Hallelujah. That you have oppressed, depressed. Hallelujah. Anxiety. I am speaking to someone. You are that spirit of anxiety. I come against it this morning in the name of Jesus. I cast you. I command you. Not by my name, but the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command you right now. Come on. Lose your hope from that woman. Lose your hope from that man. Lose your hope right now. Lose your hope. Carry your baggage and go. My God, my God. I'm seeing someone being excited this morning to be set free. To be set free. To be set free. Jesus Christ has sent us. He said, as I'm sending you. I'm sending you as a lamb among the Woof. You know, people are depressed, oppressed, hallelujah. People are bound under disease, sickness, and they don't want to, they don't know the result. They don't know the result. They give their life to somebody to manage with medication, a lot of medication. But the secret behind it is that uh, it's demon of praise, demon, hallelujah, that is inspiring the disease in people's body. So, but this morning, in the name of Jesus, I come against that spirit. We, we agree. We agree this morning. We are agreeing this morning, beloved. We are agreeing this morning, you and I. If you are beside your husband or you are beside your wife that is sick or your child, your daughter, your nieces, your grandfather, your grandmother that is sick this morning. If you are hearing the sound of our voices this morning, hallelujah, just lay your right hand upon his head and begin to speak. Say, you demon, call the name of that sickness. Is it cancer? Is it diabetes? What is the name? Is it high blood pressure? Is it potential what is the name that name is under your feet beloved that name is under my feet so this morning we are coming to release hallelujah release those that the enemy have been bound hallelujah for years they are not joyful hallelujah they are not joyful they don't they cannot rejoice they cannot enjoy their life their money the money cannot save them their bank account is loaded but still they cannot enjoy their life but jesus can listen so can say so 
Hallelujah. In the book of John, John 10, 10. Listen, Jesus Christ said what? He said the devil comes. Hallelujah. Listen to the works, the ministry of the devil. He said the devil coming not. Hallelujah. Only to destroy. Hallelujah. To steal, to destroy, and to kill. Listen, the ministry of the devil is not coming. It's not coming to be your friend, beloved. The devil is not coming. It's not your friend. Hallelujah. He is not your friend. Many people have signed. Hallelujah. They've signed. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 vow with the devil. They say, I am worshiping the devil. They take it like a joke. But the last day, they are taking it like a joke. They are taking it as if it's a pride that they are serving the devil. But that last day, they're going to look at themselves in hell, burning eternally. But you got the advantage. You got the privilege this morning to hear the sound of my voice. I receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Receive you. Make peace with Jesus. You will see your life be released from demonic power, from weakness, from anger. You will see your life. You say, Jesus Christ said in that same John 10, 10. He said, but I have come to give you life and life in abundance. God has come to give us life. God's life is in you, beloved. So this morning, I'm praying for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm praying for you this morning. Receive the abundant life. Receive the abundant life. When you are healer, send us a testimony. When the sickness is gone, hallelujah, and it's going now. Listen, today, our theme this week is expect your miracle. What is the name of that disease? Hallelujah. Sometimes they don't even see it in the hospital. Sometimes they cannot see the disease. They cannot even get the name. They say, we don't see you are okay. But you go to your house, you are sick. You feeling yourself that no, but there's something wrong. Listen, the secret is that you have, your body is being possessed by the devil. Hallelujah. Come to our, come to, come to Fountain of Agape. You're going to receive, hallelujah, miracle. You're going to receive prayer for deliverance. Hallelujah. Your spirit is bound. You are not loose. Oh my God, you know, you know, you are not happy. You don't know why you are not happy. But because the devil has entered into your heart, he, he wants to destroy you because that is his mission. But listen, God has sent you and I, my God, when you receive Jesus, you become among the children of God. You become among the family of God to go. He said, go, I have sent you out. Go, go. And in first of all, he said, he the sick. He the sick, he the sick. So I've come this morning, my husband and I will have come, hallelujah, to release the word of God. Yes, yes, my daughter Christina, we have come this morning to release the word of God. We have come, listen, one time we went to the hospital, they, even the doctor said, ha, that this man is not going to wake up, even though when he wake up, he, he cannot know where he is, he doesn't even know because he got an accident, he mind everything, his brain was destroyed, he didn't even know he was there for intense secret for 21 years without breathing, without 21 even, days. 21 days, without even breathing, without even passing through or urine, but as we step in, we speak to that sickness, we say, look at, listen, you are going to lose your hope, Lose your hope from this body in the name of Jesus. And beloved, let's say, before seven days, seven days, seven days, the man began to pass through. The man began to pass through. Liar, my God, Jesus. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar, my God. And the man began to speak. The man began to turn. My God, you, we got power, beloved. We got a lot of testimony that God has shown us that He is alive. Jesus said, I am alive. My God, I am, I am alive. It's no more in the tomb. It's no more in the cross. Had that cross you are carrying, putting Jesus there. He is no more there. He is risen. He is seated at the right hand of God the Father to do what? To assist us. To back us up. He said, go and heal the sick and I'm going to be with you and will be with you. So you have carried, you have the carriers of the Holy Spirit. So this morning pray in the name of the Lord, empower me. He has already empowered you. But now what you need is bonus. You need bonus. You need bonus. You need confidence. You need to step up and begin to exercise the the power that God has put in you, my God, but has come to speak to your life. You that are still sitting in the church, you are still sitting there in the church. God, my God, my God, and you are still sitting there. You have not yet cast a demon or fly in somebody's life, never. But this morning, I want to speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been empowered. You don't know that you have been empowered. You have been empowered in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I'm sending you. I am sending you. Oh, my God, I am happy. I'm privileged that Jesus has 
have sent me and now I am exercising the power. We are exercising the power. That's why we are out every Wednesday to preach the good news and to release the atmosphere. Many are bound. My God, beloved, this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, say you demon of cancer, lose your hope. If you are having the spirit, if you are having, you are sick in the bed and you are having cancer, hallelujah, you are sick of cancer, you are under chemotherapy this morning, I've come to speak in your life, my God, in the name of Jesus, a demon of cancer, lose your hold, my body does not belong to you, speak it, beloved, lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold right now, in the name of Jesus, lose your home, I, I don't belong to you anymore, and my body belongs to the Holy Spirit, because the Bible says you are the temple of the Jesus is Lord, my Raka, Sekeri, Abaka, Sanda, Rebel, Lose your whole demon of doom, demon of death. Lose your whole from that woman, from that man. Lose her whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose your whole principalities, powers of darkness, holding that lady in the name of Jesus. Lose your whole spirit of nightmare. You are dreaming right now. You have been dreaming about snakes, about many things that to man that is tormenting your mind. You don't know where you are when you are sleeping. This morning, I've come to speak in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose your that demon, hallelujah, that is tormenting you in the night. Lose your whole, let him lose his whole from your life in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, lose your whole from that lady. Lose your whole from that man in the mighty name of the We are sending it to prison. You demon that is holding people, young people, hallelujah, drug addict, alcohol. My God, my God, those children belong to Jesus. Oh, you that mother, you are oppressed you are depressed because your child, your daughter is on drug. It's on drug. It's on drug. It's on drug. My God, I have come to pray for you. Right? The Spirit of God is just telling me, you have a daughter that is a prostitute. You got a daughter you don't know how to do. She is it's a demon. It's a demon. Bring her. Bring her to the fountain of a gap mission. We're going to cast that demon. We're going to cast that demon. Uh, the Bible says uh, he has given us authority, power and authority to cast out the demon. Prostitute. Prostitution is not good. Makaraya baka sekeri. The demon wants to destroy her. The demon want to destroy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against that spirit. From one man to another is a spirit of, is a demonic spirit that is destroying that good lady. Demonic spirit that the enemy has released for young gays to, to be selling their life and many have been abused. Sexually have been abused. It's a demon and they've been tormented, rejected. This money have come to speak in your life in the name name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in that lady's life, I speak it right now, you demon of prostitute, come and lose your hold from that lady, in the name of you, lose your hold, set her free right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he has given us a name, the name of Jesus, hallelujah, he said, I've given you a name, hallelujah, he said, I, I, I saw Satan falling like a lightning on earth, to destroy, we don't go, we don't want to equip ourselves with the word of God. We equip ourselves with different things. Different things. Our body does not belong to gossiping, biting, all those things. Our body belongs. If you want God to use you, you have to keep away all those things. Anger. You have to set it away. You have to set anger on, uh, on disrespect, all those things. If you want the Lord to use you, God wants a pure heart. He wants a body to use the same way that the devil wants a body to destroy. The Lord wants that body that he wants to enter, you have already sent us the Holy Spirit. So this morning, beloved, <coughs> I've come to pray for you. We are agreeing together and we have understood what the man of God has read in the book of John, uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 17. He said, I am sending you. I am sending you. Go, go. Hallelujah. He sent the, he send the uh, 72. 72. He sent them. Hallelujah. He said, I'm sending you. What are you doing? Jesus has been speaking every day. I am sending you. Go, 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 go. You are still sitting in the church. You are in the club, not the church. Church, the club. You are just in the club, club, club of gossiping. Just in that club, club that will make you not to go anywhere. But any child 
of God, born again Christian, that has been in power, hallelujah, is a disciple of Jesus Christ, will be kingdom minded to know the mission of the devil and the person will be going out to preach the good news. He will not settle to do irrelevant things. The mission of God is to go out and preach the good news and bring people to know Christ, heal the sick. That's what Jesus Christ said. That is our mission. Go out and heal the sick. Heal the sick. He said, I am sending you. He said, listen, listen, listen. He will listen to you. He will listen. He will listen to me. If you are listening to me, that's what Jesus Christ in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 16. He said, he will listen to you. Hallelujah. Listen to you. Listen to me. If anyone doesn't listen to me, they will not say, sit in his eyes. He's listening to Jesus. My God. Because we are the servant of God. He said, he will reject you. Reject me. But he will reject me. Hallelujah. Reject him who have sent him. So when we are speaking the word of God, you have to receive it with gladness. Do not reject it. Hallelujah. And that word will heal you totally. Will set you free totally. He said, hear the sick. 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 Hallelujah. Even the demons submit to us. That is what they were happy. Because they use the name of Jesus. The soul, the power of the demon being cast. And you have the name of Jesus. All is that I am Christian. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. Which religion do you go? I am a Christian. I am a Christian. What are you doing with the name of Jesus? What are we doing with that name? God has given us the name that is above every name. He said, at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every name should bow. That is the, our mission is to cast out demonic powers that is oppressing people. That is our mission. Our mission, beloved, is to cast a demon. You see someone, you think the person is normal, but his action, his action shows that he is serving the devil. The action of that person shows that he is disobedient to God. So therefore, those things are the entity of the enemy to destroy the children of God. So this money has come to release the power of God. You that are listening to the sound of my voice, hallelujah, don't be religious. One, the power of God, Paul said, I'm not ashamed to preach. I'm not ashamed to preach the good news, for it is power. When you preach that good news, you see the power be released. You preach Jesus, change, you see the power. So this morning, if you have been born with so many diseases and sickness, affliction, lack of joy, lack of happiness, this morning I've come to release the power of God in your heart first. Hallelujah. Give your heart to Christ. Hallelujah. Open your heart to Jesus. I've come to release that power of God. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I have been set free. Say, I have been set free. I want my miracle. Receive your miracle. Speak and say, Lord, I need my miracle today. I need my healing today. I need my healing today. Speak it, beloved. I want to be set free from drug addict. I want to be set free from alcohol. I want to be set free from sexual immorality. Many people in the church, but they got boyfriend here and there, and they don't know that it's the demon sending them, but they move and going there and there. You are having boyfriend, having sexual relationships, standing on the altar and preaching. So this morning, I want to tell you that it's the demon you've been set free. God has forgiven you in the name of Jesus. I want to be set free from sexual immorality. My body belongs. Speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it. My body belongs to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, use me. Hallelujah. I, say, I live in the body that is holy. My God, if you want to use the name of Jesus Christ, set yourself. He said, I've set you apart. Jesus has set us apart, beloved. My God, demon of rejection. I come against you. That feel that you're being rejected by your parents. I come against that demon. Go back to your parents. I come against it. In the name of Jesus, demon of division. I come against it. Those demons, they come with different assignments to destroy, to divide. They come with different, if you don't discern it, they're going to destroy everything. So we have to stand against that demonic powers. We have to stand against the rulers of darkness. We have to stand against, because we got the power. You don't need to go to school. You don't need to go anywhere. But you just need to use that name, that name, that name, the name of Jesus Christ. Because he has said, he's sending us out like a lamb. Oh my God. He's sending us like a lamb among the wolf. Oh, yes. Those sickness, disease, hallelujah, anxiety. Oh, brought 
blood, uh, blood, uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure. Hallelujah. Those sickness, those sickness, they are wolf. They are coming in you all. One person may have about five or ten different diseases in his body. Ten different ones. These are demonic power want to destroy. So this morning we are coming against a sickness. Use the blood of Jesus. Flush out. And use the blood of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus went to the cross once and for all. He crucified the sickness on the cross. He said, you are free. I am free. He that the Son of God has set free is free indeed. And my God, you are free. When you have Jesus, you are free indeed for what? You are free from sickness, disease, infirmity. You are free. You are free to do what to go. To go and share the good news. To go and give your testimony outside them so that people will come to know that Jesus, to have the love of God. So this morning I'm releasing the word of God in your life this morning. Go, 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 go. You began to go and share the good news. You are free indeed. Whatever may be, just believe. Believe, 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 believe. Believe in the word of Jesus. Have faith in the word of Jesus. Have faith in the word of Jesus. Have faith in him. Have faith in him. Have faith in him. He said, hallelujah. What is impossible to man is possible to God. Doctor have said you can never be here. You are in intensive care. You say that sickness will kill you. But I've come to declare this morning that you are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. That sickness will disappear. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus will, hallelujah, from head to toe will flush, will flush, restore, will restore every sense organ that that sickness has destroyed in your life. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will restore, will restore, my God, every sense and organ that has been destroyed from head to toe. Let the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Makaria, Cassandra, Redeboko, Sekeria, Bakasaka, make the blood, the blood of Jesus, use the blood, that blood is having power, beloved, that blood of Jesus, they name the blood, my God, the word of Jesus, to all of them work together, they work in synergy, they work together, the Holy Spirit, I say that you are here, your finances here, receive the healing power of God, wherever you are, if you are listening to the sound of my voice, wherever you are my God because the Bible says the word of God is spirit, the word of God himself is anointed to go wherever we send it he doesn't need visa, he doesn't need etiquette he doesn't need aeroplane but that word will go and it will land in your heart wherever, when your heart is open, that word of God will land in your heart and it began to do what he wants to do, he will remove the stony heart and he will give you a heart of sensible heart a heart that will be sensitive to the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Say thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you for setting me free. You've been set free from drug addict. You've been set free from alcohol. You've been set free from, 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 from hallelujah, from cancer. You'll be set free from diabetes. You'll be set free from high blood pressure. You are dumb, hallelujah, right now. You can't to speak. You are deaf right now. The spirit of deafness, I, lose, I come against it in the name of Jesus. Spiritual deafness, hallelujah. Let that power of God penetrate in your ears and begin to make you to hear the word of God rightly and began to do the things of God right here, and began to go where Jesus Christ has sent us to go. He didn't ask us to sit in the church. You've been believing, hallelujah, knowing Christ for years, but you've not exercised that power. But this morning I say, go, go. Jesus Christ is sending you, go. Just say in the name of Jesus. When somebody say, I'm sick, say, beloved, brother, let, agree, let us agree. If somebody gave me that we should pray for someone in the hospital. He sent me a prayer request. Hallelujah. Right now, I don't even know the name of the person. I didn't us but we are agreeing hallelujah and we are using anyone in the hospital being hallelujah negative we are using the person hallelujah in the name of jesus Christ. 19 is a demon it's a demon and that's why we are standing against it we are standing against that demon in the name of jesus Christ. we are destroying it by the power of the holy ghost if you just believe by the power enough is enough we will tell the demon of COVID 19 that enough is enough the life that you have been destroying is enough stop right now in the name name of Jesus Christ. Let the atmosphere be clear. Let people be loose from that confinement. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing. We declare healing. We declare freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Are you know, excited to have Jesus? You are you know, excited to have that name that is above every name? That name that can heal, set free, in prison. That name of Jesus. That name of Jesus goes right to prison.
prison and make people to repent. Those that are sick, those that are in drug, like thieves and so on, murderer. The name of Jesus. Jesus has come to forgive us. Wherever you are in prison, you are listening to the sermon of my voice. He has give your life to Christ and God will begin to use you. You're going to be an instrument in the hands of God to say, I command that demon that is making you to be in prison all the time. Prison by yourself. Prison. Prison. I'm not saying critical. People are in prison. Prison by themselves. My God, my Lord, hating themselves in prison. If you hate yourself, you don't like to see even your brother. You will not even like to see any person because you just say, love your neighbor as yourself. Makareka, sakara, inabaka, soko, rika, saka. If you hate yourself, you will not like to see any person. So that, that is a prison. So I come to release the word of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lose your hole. Lose your hole. Lose your hole in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. You need to exercise. You need to exercise that power that God has given you. You need to exercise that power that God has deposited in you. In the name of Jesus. You respect, you expect your miracle by exercising the power that no person can pray for you. My God, more than your Yourself. You have to exercise. You have to have your own personal confidence. testimony. You have to have confidence. People come in here and their prophet pray for me. No, let me tell you, your own you are a prophet of yourself. So we are coming to agree right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me, Jesus say, go, go, go. I send you out I, as a lamb among the wolf. Go, heal the sick, cast out the demon. That Jesus Christ knew, he had you. He knew that you would do it. You can do it. He said, you can do it. He said, I can do it. So I Stand by the word of God. You are not going on your own. You are not alone. He said, I am going to be with you. Oh, Jesus. Everybody can abandon me, but Jesus said, I am with you. With you, you are having the majority. So this morning, I'm standing with you right now. We are agreeing together to release the word of God in the atmosphere that people will be set free from drug addict, from alcohol, from prostitution, from hatred, from murder. My God, children that are killing themselves is a demon. My God, Kasika, Raina, Bakasoko, they will be set free from that entity that is bringing confusion in the society. In the name of you got the power, I've got the power to begin to release in the atmosphere that the people will be set free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Say thank you Lord because you've given me power. you give me the power and you give me the authority. Yes, you carry the power. You carry bulletproof. Every, I pray for you right now that I've been listening. Every bulletproof, every, every enemy arrow of the enemy that you have been standing against you, against your family, you send it back to the sender. Right now, in the name of the back to the sender, back to the sender, against your children, against your career, against your family, any evil attack. My God, whatever they are guarding against you, against your family, right? let them be put in confusion. In the name of Jesus Christ, if they are gathered against you to destroy you, we destroy every altar, shrine of the enemy. We destroy every shrine that has been built, the altars of the demonic altars that has been built in this city. Hallelujah. To put people in confusion, to put people in hatred, to make we destroy every demonic altar in the marketplace, that everywhere. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come down with fire. Destroy them, scatter it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free. Many are free this morning. Yes. Because of God the power. Many are free. People began to want to, to come to God. Free from fear. Free from anxiety, free, free in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Kara in Abaka Soko, Reba Kaseke. Many have been set free this morning, set free from fear, set free from anxiety, set free from lack of confidence, set free from rejection, set free. If you have confidence, you don't care whether people love you or not because you have confidence in God. Haya Karaba Seke, Ria Mama Mama. Yes, confidence in the name of God. Glory be to God. We are almost at the end. Give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Give your life to Jesus. If you don't have that love, if you don't know him yet, we have come to you. Give your life, give your heart to Jesus. Make peace with him to receive this power. Make peace with him. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you this morning. Hallelujah. I call upon your name. Come into my heart. I want you to be my Lord and Savior because your word says, I confess with your mind and believe in my heart. I am free and my friend. So this morning, if you make this prayer, you are now a child of God. God has removed you from the kingdom of darkness and translated you from the kingdom of his light. And now you are a child of God. You began to exercise the power that Jesus has given you and you go out 
out there and win soul. That's your mission. That's our mission. Win soul for Christ. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. I cover it with the blood of Jesus. Let your brain out and your coming in be blessed. If you are driving, let everything, hallelujah, be blessed. Let the angels of God camp around you, hallelujah, wherever you are going. In the name of Jesus, let God open your eyes to see every trap of the enemy, wherever you are going, and you will jump and pass in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tomorrow we are here and our team this morning expect your miracle. If you have any miracle, Bible study tonight. Hallelujah. Connect with us live. Live on Facebook. We have Bible studies. In Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Bye-bye. God bless you, beloved. See you.